For as long as I can remember, people have been talking about the iPhone SE2 slash the iPhone 9, and we might now actually be getting it. There have been rumors on this phone for years, and now it looks like this April, we are finally gonna get it. This latest rumor is because that Best Buy in America have had cases shipped into them, which match the exact sizes of what the iPhone 9 will be. A picture of the case was sent to 9to5Mac, you can see it here, and the instruction apparently to the store is that they're not allowed to sell that until the 5th of April, which is this coming Sunday. But this doesn't mean that the phone is actually going to be announced before this Sunday. But the talk around town is that there is now an actual date. So John Proser has just tweeted this, that he expects Apple to make an announcement on the 15th of April regarding the iPhone 9s, and on the 22nd of April actually start to be sent out. What's interesting though is that we're going to see two versions of this phone, so a normal 4.4 inch display but then we're going to go and get a plus size version which is a 5.5 inch display and just expect the phones to look exactly the same as the iPhone 8 they probably won't go with that SC design that they had a couple of years ago because this iPhone 9 is plugging that gap between 9 and 10 which Apple left a couple of years ago both of these phones should have touch ID which might be a nice return for some people and also the 4.4 inch display will have a single camera lens but then that 5.5 inch will have a dual camera lens but it Expect it to be more of a telephoto lens than anything like a wide angle lens that you see on the newer iPhones. It should also have Apple's A13 Bionic chip, so if you're upgrading from an iPhone SE already, or maybe an iPhone 7, then this phone is going to seem quick. It should ship with 64 gigabytes of storage, 3 gigabytes of RAM, and we're looking for the price to be around about 400 to 450 when this is released, so that plus size model obviously being a little bit more, and that might push the price up to 500, but that's still considerably lower than something like the iPhone 11, for example, but does put it on par with the price of the iPhone 8. I actually think that Apple releasing a budget phone like this is perfect. It gets more people using Apple and into Apple's ecosphere. But the timing for Apple at the moment is pretty unfortunate. Like the whole world is in lockdown. So whose first priority is gonna to be to go out and buy a brand new phone for four, 500 pounds? Like nobody's gonna to want to do that. But it is a really good idea to price a phone like that because it gets more people into that Apple ecosphere. And once they get locked in, as we know, it's quite difficult to leave. But let me know in the comments what you think about this phone is it bad timing for apple and does that mean it will just flop which would be a bit of a shame if you like this video give it a like subscribe to the channel and until next time see you later